And Hillary said Donald Trump took time off the campaign. Can you believe it? Here's a woman. She makes a speech for 15 minutes. She goes home, goes to bed. <laughs> Honestly, she has less energy than Jeb Bush. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. at a guy like Jeb Bush, he's taking 100 low energy. He's taking 120, extremely low. Oh, I shouldn't say it. He's debating right now. Maybe he's doing great. He's probably looking for me. He's saying, has anyone seen Trump? Why, where, where's Trump? Where is he? Where is he? How about Uma? Now, okay, here's the story. So Uma now is one of the people that it all sort of came through Uma. Who is Uma married to? She's married to Anthony Weiner. You know, the little bing, bing, bing. Bum, bum. I love you very much. This is a tough business oh, to yeah. run for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pr real principled. Tough. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting Jeb, yeah? your way to well, the let's presidency. Let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at three. So, Doesn't so matter. far, I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far, I'm doing better. You know, I've been watching Bush on the border. He's in a seersucker suit. He's talking about, yes. Oh, yes. The anchor baby. Oh, I shouldn't say anchor baby. Now, I have heard that Jeb Bush was the mentor to Marco Rubio. Nice, two nice people. I think Jeb is a nice person. He's very low energy. I'm not used to that kind of a person. <laughs> Kerry, who's a baby. I mean, here's a guy who goes on a bicycle to go on a bicycle race. He's 73 years old. He's in a bicycle race. He falls, he breaks his leg during the negotiation. And I tell everybody, and you probably heard it, I swear to you, I will never be in a bicycle race as long as I'm president. I... <laughs> president Obama, Secretary Kerry, I highly think you should read this book quickly. <laughs> quickly! But if I were Marco, but in particular, if I was Jeb, I wouldn't say Marco's a good friend of mine. Marco did something that he wasn't supposed to do. He ran. I've never said this before. And I watch these two guys, and they're hugging, and they're kissing, and they're holding each other. Very much like, actually, Chris Christie did with the president. <laughs> so, Uma is getting classified secrets. She's married to Anthony Weiner, who's a perv. Oh, he is. He is. You can win against China if you're smart. But our people don't have a clue. We give state dinners to the heads of China. I say, why are you doing state dinners for them? They're ripping us left and right. Just take them to McDonald's and go back to the negotiating table. Seriously, it's true. Now, if you think that Uma isn't telling Anthony, who she's probably desperately in love with, in all fairness to Anthony, because why else would she marry this guy? Can you believe it? Can't see straight. But you have this guy, Lindsey Graham, a total lightweight. Here's a guy. In the private sector, he couldn't get a job, believe me. Lindsey Graham, your senator. What a stiff. What a stiff. By the way, he's registered zero in the poll. Zero. I couldn't care less about Lindsey Graham. He's registered at, I think, zero in the poll. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. 228-0292. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, it's three, four years ago, so maybe it's an old number. 202-228-0292. I don't know, give it a shot. <laughs> Your local politician, you know? He won't fix anything, but at least he'll talk to you. So Uma's got, it's coming through Uma. She's got a lot of stuff, a lot of information, who knows? So she's married to a bad guy. I know Anthony Weiner for a long time. I knew before they caught him with the bing, 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 right? <laughs> and he was a bad guy then. It turned out that he was a really bad guy. And then they say, you can't build a wall. It's too big, it's too, it doesn't work. Well, 3,000 years ago, right? The Great Wall of China was built. We'd like to have that wall. That wall nobody gets through, that I can tell you. I want it to be so beautiful, because maybe someday they're gonna call it the Trump Wall, maybe. So I have to make sure it's beautiful, right? You've heard me say this, I turned down $5 million by a big lobbyist, not a bad person, you know, tough guy, not a bad person. But when he gives me five, he's not doing that because he thinks I have beautiful hair. Graham, has anyone ever heard of Lindsey Graham? 
This guy. I mean, so a poll came out the other day. He was at zero. Zero. Even Pataki was higher. Pataki was at zero with an arrow up. That means he got one. But Lindsey Graham actually had zero. No, that's the way it is. CNN is terrible. CNN. You with CNN? Are you with CNN? Are you, are you, are you people do not cover us accurately at all. $505 billion. We're going to lose that. $505 billion. And by the way, I don't like this mic. Whoever the hell bought this mic system, don't pay the son of a bitch to put it in. I'll tell you. These, these people. No, this mic is terrible. Stupid mic keeps popping. Warren, she seems to have made it her job. Who, Pocahontas? <laughs> Pocahontas? Well, no, she's... Look, look, she is... She is it's very offensive. offensive. You tell me. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Pocahontas? Is that what you said? Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren? What I'm saying is that you are the front runner. You say that you're going to be president of the United States. There is a manner of behavior that goes with that. I'm not saying be Mr. PC. I'm not saying be Captain Gentility and let everybody beat you up. But the idea of returning a blow every time you receive one, you know that doesn't work in any high-level well, situation. Well, I'm a believer. Perhaps you're not. Let, maybe that's why your show isn't doing as well as it should be. Oh, you, you see, really that's, not nice. that. that's, me, that's not nice. That's not nice. Let me just tell you. That's not nice. You're you, attacking Chris. me for asking you a question. Now you look at Kasich. I don't think he knows what, you know, did you see him? He has a news conference all the time when he's eating. I have never seen a human being eat in such a disgusting fashion. I'm always telling my young son, Baron, I'm saying, and I'm always with my kids, all of them. I'd say, children, small little bites, small. This guy takes a pancake and he's in his mouth. He's like, it's disgusting. Do you want that for your president? I don't think so. A guy, nobody ever heard of this guy. I shouldn't even do this because I built up his name, but he's a real lightweight. His name is Bill Crystal. From day one, this poor guy, this poor guy, I watch him, but here's what I don't understand. Why do you keep putting a guy on television that's been proven to be wrong for so many years? First of all, he wants the war in Iraq. He wants Iraq. All the guy wants to do is kill people and go to war and kill people, even though he knows it's not working, although he doesn't know because he's not smart enough. Now you have Rand Paul. Think of this guy. Think of him. I said, what's going on with this guy? All of a sudden, he attacks. You know, he calls me up a year ago. He wants to play golf. I say, who is it? Who is he? He's a senator. I'll say, okay, I'll play. Anybody, a senator calls you. You know, who knows? So Rand Paul calls. He wants to play golf. I play golf, I kill him at golf. I did. Even he admitted that. I'm actually a very good golfer, but that's okay. You said in September 30th that ISIS was not a I, I, Am I uh, talking or are you talking, Jim? I'm you talking right back. now. I'm talking. You can go back. You're not I'm talking. talking. You interrupted me, September 30th, Jeb. Are you going to apologize, Jeb? No. Am I allowed to finish? Yes, one at a time. Excuse go ahead, me. Mr. Am Mr. I allowed to finish? Go ahead, Mr. Trump. So, little of your again, own I, there, right? I, I, I know governor, you're trying to build Bush. up your energy, Please. Jeff, but it's not one, working One at a time. Well. Yeah. Somebody criticized me the other day because they asked me what I'd do, and I said, I'm going to bomb the shit out of them. It's true. I don't care. I don't care. They've got to be stopped. Marco Rubio's personal finances are discredited. Oh, no, his personal finance. All you have to do is look at his credit card. I mean, he is a disaster with his credit cards. I look at Rubio, he's a lightweight. He's a lightweight. Everyone says, oh, Rubio, he's the next Reagan. He's no Reagan, that I can tell you. I mean, my hair is better than his hair, that I can tell you. So they ask, Rubio, what do you think of Bush? Oh, he's my dear friend. Wonderful, just one. They hate each other. They hate. Trust me, I know. But it's political bullshit. Do you understand? It's true. It's true. A couple of young women took over the microphone from Bernie a month ago, right? They took it over and he was like this, huh? Oh. He is not stopping ISIS, I will tell you. If we had honest government, Hillary wouldn't be allowed to run in this case. He wouldn't be allowed to run. You know that. You better remember. There's a six-year statute of limitations on that crime. So Hillary's running for a lot of reasons. One of them is because she wants to stay out of jail. And I will tell you that if I win, we're going to look into that crime very, very seriously, folks.
very, very seriously. Well, she has a new hairdo. Did you notice that today? That's called a wig. Is that a wig? I think it's a wig. Nothing personal. I, look, I'm not against wigs. People can wear whatever no, they it's want. Okay, it's okay. But you know, I, I tell you what, it really was shocking to see it because it, you're right. It must be. It was. It was massive. You know, her hair became massive. You know you're going to get in trouble now. I don't care. One of the worst Secretary of States in the history of the country. She talks about me being dangerous. She's killed hundreds of thousands of people with her stupidity. Everyone tells me Rubio's a wonderful speaker. I said, well, really? Tell me why. <laughs> Remember when he was doing the message to the president? Now, the president had just spoken, right? And he's doing the message. This is a big thing. They selected him, I think, because he was young. So they selected him. And he's talking. I notice. I say, man, is he sweating. And then all of a sudden, and we will fight and we will this. And it wasn't out of a glass. It was out of a bottle. I don't know. Maybe he got paid for the company that had the bottle. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. And then they said, oh, he did such a great job. I said, oh, he did? We have a president. I, I, swear, I think he's a stupid person because there's no way that a normal president can make the speech that he made the other night. And we need, and, and I talk to you this way, I talk to you this way because that's the mentality, whether I'm nice or not. I think I'm nice, actually. So Chris, who's a friend of mine, he hit me hard. And I said, I got to hit him at least once. So I won't do this alone. But look, here's the story. <laughs> the George Washington Bridge. He knew about it. Hey, how do you have breakfast with people every day of your lives? They're closing up the largest bridge in the world. The biggest in the United States, traffic flowing during rush hour. People couldn't get across for six, seven hours. Ambulances, fire trucks. They're with them all the time, the people that did it. They never said, hey, boss, uh, we're closing up the George Washington Bridge tonight. No, they never said. They're talking about the weather, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's a nice guy, probably. Who knows? I don't care. I don't care. My father always used to say, son, you've got to take the lumps out. He thought every once in a while I was too tough. Take the lumps out. Be soft. Be a little bit like Jeb Bush every once in a while. Soft. Okay. Every once. No, oh, it's okay. If some of those wonderful people had guns strapped right here, right to their waist or right to their ankle, and this son of a bitch comes out and starts shooting, I, I've beat everybody. But I don't mean beat. I beat the hell out of them. Right? Beat the hell out of them. Understand, I have far more votes than anybody, including Hillary, because I had 17 people. She had Bernie. Okay? Bernie. Oh, Bernie. <laughs> Lou, you guys aren't big into socialism or communism, are you? But what I don't want is when I raise millions of dollars, have people say, like this sleazy guy right over here from ABC. He's a sleaze in my book. Uh, you're a sleaze because you, you know the facts and you know the facts well. Go ahead. The unwanted and really disgusting porn star, Anthony Weiner, who, believe it or not, had a minor shot at becoming mayor of New York. Hopefully that's gone. But he's trying to emerge again. I see it. And don't let it happen. I've known this guy for a long time a major sleazebag. And I had no idea that we'd have millions of more votes than we had when we had that stiff Mitt Romney, a total stiff <laughs> running, who, by the way, he's a dope. He's not a smart person, I'll tell you right now. Let me, let me tell you about Mitt Romney. That was an election that he should have won and he lost. And he should just go away and let the big boys do it now. Because you know what? That's an election that should have been won. John McCain, a war hero, five and a half years as a POW, and you call him a dummy. Is that appropriate in running for president? Okay. Uh, let's, you gotta let me speak though, Frank, because you interrupt all the time, okay? He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war He's hero. He's a war hero. He's a war five hero. Five and a half years He's a, a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. <laughs> Do you He's agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. For Yemen. That's why they're in there fighting. Think of this. We're making a deal with Iran and we're fighting Iran in Yemen. When you make the deal, aren't you supposed to sort of solve everything? And Kerry said he didn't want to bring it up because he didn't want to complicate the negotiation. This guy's an idiot. 
I was wondering what you would say to President Obama. You're now fired. <laughs>